why can't e-liquid just be cleaned up normally with like a paper towel it that doesn't work like you need wet and dry and then wet again and then dry again to get it finally cleaned up off like a certain like my table right here so annoyed hey vapors welcome back to my channel today's video is all about the kanger tech voila kit Alright guys, yes, today I'm taking a look at another product by Kanger Tech. This is the Vola kit. We have the Vola mod and the Vola tank. So let's dive down close. I'll show you what the kit comes with and how to work the mod. Here's the packaging that the Vola comes in. You can see that I do have the black one. It comes in blue, red, orange, green, black, and gray. Here we go. Opens up just like this. And on this side, we have the micro USB to USB cord used for charging, the internal battery, as well as the user's manual for the voila, which is in different, many different languages. Nice thick user's manual. And on this side, we have the voila mod and the voila tank, as well as an extra coil. The extra coil we have is the R8. OCC coil. It's a 0.2 ohm quadruple coil. It can be vaped between 30 and 140 watts, but performs its best between 60 and 80. Here is the Voila tank. It is 43 millimeters tall with a 25 millimeter diameter and a 510 pin. It does say Voila at the bottom. It can hold two or four mils. This is the four mil extension. To change the coil, you just spin off the base. You spin out the coil. This is the R2 OCC Nichrome coil. It's a 0.4 ohm single coil. You can vape it between 20 and 100 watts, but it performs its best at 60 through 80 watts. You can completely disassemble this tank for cleaning. There is dual airflow slots at the bottom that are on a stopper. It does have a removable drip tip at the top and to fill the tank you just easily unscrew this top cap and fill in the fill ports avoiding the center air shaft and today you guessed it i am filling it up with my favorite winter flavor bonsai seasons summit kit if you want to try this flavor or any of the other flavors on bonsai vapors website you can use my code tia20 for 20 percent off your order i got some e-liquid in there i'm gonna go ahead and let that wick up while we take a look at the voila so here's the voila mod it's actually really light and really small way smaller than i thought it was gonna be it is 74 millimeters by 44 millimeters by 25 millimeters it does have a 1.3 inch TFT screen. Oh my god, I love taking off the plastic. Look how shiny it is. Hey guys. Oh my god, and it has one on the back. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Very freaking shiny, very fingerprinty magnet. <laughs> Here on the side, we have a giant fire button, the up and down regulatory buttons, a micro USB port used for charging the internal battery, which is 2000 milliamp hour. At the top, we have a centered 510 connection. Pressing the fire button once, it shows that it's off. Five clicks turns it on. We have the Kanger Tech. So here it displays the battery life, the output mode, which is wattage, and the output power level, which is at seven right now. This can go up to 100 watts. It also reads the ohms, but it's at 9.99, which is a the default readout because there's no coil and it says check atomizer because there's nothing attached. We also have the working voltage, and I think this is a puffs counter. It's at 20, which must be the quality control puffs and then there's like this little running guy down here at the seconds bar counter i wonder if he like runs as you vape you can adjust the wattage by 0.1 increments like i said all the way up to 100 watts it also does tc modes for nickel titanium stainless steel and it has three tcr memory modes you can see it's adjusting by one watt when i hold it down or 0.1 watts when you go slow. There we go, 100 watts. Now it does have a beginner, intermediate, and expert mode. Press and hold the plus and minus at the same time to adjust the screen brightness. Make it all the way bright. Hold the fire and the plus button at the same time to lock the device. So you can't lock it 
but I'd imagine you can still fire it. Press and hold the fire button and the minus button at the same time, and then you can select between beginner, intermediate, and expert. On beginner, I don't think you can use the temperature control mode, so let's go into intermediate, and then it does go to temperature control right away. So again, we have temperature NI, temperature TI, temperature SS, and wattage mode. So you can do the temperature modes and wattage mode in the intermediate setting just by pressing the fire button three times to change between output modes. And then in the expert level, I'm sure you will be able to have, yep, the memory options. The TCR mode for memory mode one, memory mode two, memory mode three. Oh, just the memory mode? So in expert, it looks like you can only do the memory modes. And from expert mode, if you press the fire button, the plus and the minus button all at the same time, you can get into the curvature settings where you can adjust the curves either for variable wattage or variable temperature. You can adjust out to 10 seconds. So you select the first one, you can press up for the wattage, and then select that, and then go to the next one, select that one, go up, so you can change the customized Curve. And when you get all the way out to 10 seconds, you press up one more time and it will say OK, which is obviously you're saying, OK, I want that. Or you can press up again and go over to the variable wattage and you can change it into temperature mode instead. And then you can, it's kind of hard to see, but that's TI, SS. So you can change variable wattage and I, TI, SS. It's kind of hard to see that, but that it changes in that little highlighted area. I wonder if I get it closer, can you see? It's kind of a little too highlighted to see, but right now that says SS. So that is how to work the Vola. I'll go ahead and put the Vola tank on here. We'll vape it for you guys. You want to vape it? All right, guys. So that is the Vola kit and everything it comes with and how to work the mod. Now, my favorite part and least favorite part about this thing is that it's small and shiny, like both sides are glossy. And whereas I love that look, it also can get smudged really easily. And unless you consciously think about having the buttons on the left side of the device, if the device is off, who knows which is front and back until you can see the screen. However, the fire button there on the side is nice and big and you can feel it so like you can use this in the dark if you needed to. Clouds, bitch. I do like me a compact setup better than I like those big bulky mods and those huge honking tanks. So this would definitely be one that I would prefer over other devices just because of its size. I mean look how compared to my hand like it is, it's nice and tiny. It's a very simple and easy to use mod, very simple and easy to use tank as far as filling and changing the coil. And I wonder how the other colors would look on here because I do like this seamless black look. Like I said, it is my favorite part about it is how sleek and shiny it is, but it's also like love hate with that. But I wonder what the other colors would look like if it would look a little bit more like eh, with that with the other colors because I think the color is the band around here and then the screen in the back remain black. But I think it looks best like the seamless black shiny look. And I was right about the little running guy down here. He does run across the screen as you vape. I'm going to try to get a close up and see if I can't show you. Now I'm not sure if the Vola is ready to order yet, if not it is on pre-order and I will leave a link below to where you can check it out for yourself. But go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below on what you think about the Vola kit. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be down below. And I've also started a Patreon account where I do vape-related monthly rewards over there. Some of the top tiers include getting my used mods and or e-liquid sent to you monthly. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.